What's up everybody? Welcome back to Autumn and Dad's Collectibles here on YouTube. Today I'm going to showcase something a little different than we usually do. We've been doing a lot of villages, we've been doing a lot of wrestling figures, we've been doing a lot of different kinds of horror collectibles, but today I got some cool crap in the mail. And this is not the one that arrived in the mail. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. So this is one of my favorite albums of all time. I'm not a huge vinyl collector myself. The only albums I typically buy are just, it's an artist that I would really like or one of my favorite albums that I want to own on vinyl. I'm not a huge vinyl collector. I probably own less than 50 vinyls altogether. This for me was a must have because I love every track on this record. This is one of the few albums that I own that I can play in its entirety from beginning to end. So when I found out this was on vinyl, I had to have a copy. This particular vinyl is limited to a thousand sets. There's only a thousand of these made. This comes from music on vinyl. So I am the proud owner of two out of 1,000 of these. I'm bringing you guys in for a closer look at this vinyl. There is the music on vinyl. Sticker, the hype sticker. Shows you there it's limited to 1,000 numbered copies. This is the artwork for anybody not familiar with each blocks, which was probably the majority of people because I'm the king of bands that nobody's ever heard of. And then we have the back side, which if you keep going, is right there, numbered. I have number 94 out of 1,000 copies made. So, why did I order another one? Closer look while I take this out. Again with these stupid sleeves that they make. I said it in another video. Come on, music on vinyl. Why did you have to put a flap over the top? Go through all the trouble when what they could have easily done, put this facing this way so the record will still slide out here instead of having to take this off the top, open it up every time it gets weaker. The plastic is getting weaker already. Every time this gets open, the plastic gets less and less sticky. So if you're out there music on vinyl, listen up. Slide it out the side. Make a cut right here. None of this flap business. So the record can just slide out. Makes sense to me. Anyway, now that my rant is over on that, I'll start a new rant. This is my h Blocks vinyl. Again, one of my favorite albums of all time. However, I received this, and me being a collector, I was not having it that my vinyl has a really bad ding right there. You can see it, it's a nasty one. Not a big deal. Oh, and there and then there's another one up on top here. What I did was ordered copy number two. So we're gonna open this up, keep our fingers crossed that this one is minty mint. Why? Probably like everybody who's watching this, if you're even still watching, I, like everybody else, had never heard of H-Blocks. And if I hadn't been a wrestling fan, I wouldn't know what H-Blocks was. They were on WWF The Music Volume 4 back in the 90s. I found one of their CDs. This one, actually. This particular, this actual one, Fly Eyes, I found at Rasputin for 95 cents or 50 cents or whatever. It was brand new sealed. Picked it up, figured why not, for a dollar, can't really go wrong. Sat on the shelf for a long time, took it with me to Colorado when I drove out to Colorado from California, and it was just, it was on repeat, I'll just leave it at that. So, looking at this copy of Fly Eyes, I have copy number 65. Wasn't the other one 64? 94. I have copies 94 
and 65 of a thousand. So this looks in way better condition. There's no cuts in the plastic, but there is, however, about one small ding on the bottom there. Not a deal breaker. Pop this open with this plastic that I love so much, you guys know. And I would not be doing this right now since we've already kind of gone over this. But I want to make sure these albums aren't broken inside. Again, same thing you guys already seen. Now for the vinyl. I believe this is called green marble vinyl. Oh, first of all, let's pop this out. This is the insert for the album. A lyric sheet, which I was looking at the other one that I have. I don't think it has every song on here. It doesn't. Kind of strange. It doesn't have all the... It has random lyrics on here from certain songs, but not all of them. Anyway, on to the good stuff. Here is the album itself. This one looks nice, with no cuts and no scratches. So I'm gonna put it back in. Got this album side C and D. Make sure that it is also in nice condition. And it is. And here we have a somewhat more mint copy of Fly Eyes from H Blocks. Here's a closer view of the artwork. You open up. This is what the inside looks like. That's the band as it was in 1998. That's actually a really nice picture right there. I'm a fan of that one. Flipping around to the back. Here's the back side with the number of the record that I got. Copyrights. Track listing. Alright everybody, well... I got lucky to a certain degree getting a lesser damaged vinyl version of Fly Eyes from H Blocks. This one just had a little ding up here in the corner. Nothing quite like the one I got previously. So I got a nice clean copy. If you have never heard this album, I would highly encourage you to give it a listen. You could probably even listen to it for free right here on YouTube. I would highly encourage you to give it a listen. Absolutely great album from 1998. If I had to go down the track listing here and pick out three of my favorites, I would have to go with Can't Break My Fear, Cold, and Wish as my top three off of this album. It's hard to pick because I love all the songs on this and there's no song on here that I don't like, but those would be my top three. Anyway, check it out whenever you have time. Give it a listen. Let me know what you guys think. And until next time, I will see you guys later right here on Ottoman Dad's Collectibles right here on YouTube.